What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. So, today, we have quite a few Rift bosses to do. Tomorrow is actually the big day because the Adaraxian uh, co-op dungeon happening tomorrow. So, uh, I'll be playing that. And uh, hopefully, it's uh, pretty good. So, yeah, that's all coming tomorrow in the patch. And I'm pretty excited for that. But today... It's just like the calm before everything happens. Um, hopefully there's more than that though in tomorrow's thing, so pretty big. Uh, but today, let's see what we have. Red Nose, Steel Nux, Muskin, Sonal, Farid. So I think... Oh, we have something here. We got a goodie. Oh. Got two over here. Uh, and then three. So, that, yeah, today isn't too bad. We'll start with the right side and go finish off on the left. So, let us go do this one first. I've actually had that one for a while and then decided I don't want to do it. But today we should probably finish them all. What have you guys been up to lately? Any goals in video? I've had the same ones for a while. It's just, it takes so long to do. So, slowly but surely, we're making progress. But I'm also uh, still enjoying Final Fantasy as well. Am I going to the right spot? I was like, wait, that's a little farther than I thought it would be. At least it's not out in the desert today. Remember last time when we had to go to Fogan's? Luckily, we got pretty carried with the drop at Fogan's. We got a Pry Ogre, and then um, proceeded to blow it up. But... <laughs> At least we didn't go there for like a bassy belt. That was pretty nice. I feel like if they wanted to make more people go into the desert, it should be like a guaranteed pry or duo accessory. Like at this point, they're giving away free pen accessories. Well, not free, but like, I mean, Kaposha is basically it. And, um. What in the world? Gear on? Okay, I do have gear on. actually kind of an obnoxious boss actually I actually do believe that this is a pretty difficult boss especially if you're not like you're a newer player doing this rift boss I think it's uh like it kind of hits hard
I actually heard one thing. I'm not sure if it's a like true or not, but rift bosses scale to your character's like gear. So it's more about like knowing the mechanics of all the bosses over health, which I'm not 100% sure. Because I'm pretty sure they all have set stats, and I mean, if you go into it like no DP, you're probably going to get clapped. But I'm pretty sure it's not like it's it doesn't scale to you. It has a set stat. But I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I haven't really bothered to test it either. went the long way. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, where's the turn at? But yeah, for the most part, I think I'm done with the season. I'm also just waiting for one we can graduate already. I don't know. How long has it been already? Just one month? Or has it been like a month and a half? Maybe we'll see. Let's test to see if it scales. I'm gonna be honest, I can't really tell the difference. Maybe it does. Maybe it did. I don't know. All right. Three more to go. We have one by Velia and two on the left side. I think Muskin and Sonal, right? So, yeah, let's go do those. The one by Valia should be Red Nose, I believe. Someone just sold a Penton Guard ring for 80 bill. It's quite a lot. still kind of on defense, like, if I want a uh, Pen Eye of the Ruins or Pen Tongrad. The reason I'd want an Eye of the Ruins is more just for the HP. I don't, like, yeah, AP is nice, but at some point, it's just, you have more than enough. 
and uh, I don't know how the future is gonna be for BDO, so I'm not like, like, should I just go with AP? I don't know how they're gonna start balancing things, but if they want us to do like Crypt of Resting Thoughts or something at 340 AP or something like that. Actually, I don't know. Isn't it like 300 AP, 400 DP or something? Oh, 310 AP. I can hit 310 with uh, Nuber, but you really shouldn't grind anywhere with Nuber. my wheel of fortune. Wait a second. Ooh. That's a duo. Eesh, what a decline. What in the world? Do we want 400 mil or do you want to YOLO it? That is the question. I'm more leaning towards uh, YOLO in it. I've never actually gotten a duo accessory. I think that was my first ever one in my video career of like 600 rift bosses total. Maybe more. Wait a second. Something's wrong there. Game gave me a duo accessory. I could use the money though. doesn't sell by the time I finish all these rift bosses then I'll click it is it worth croning try I don't think so The reason why I put on a Nuva for this one is mostly because this boss is kind of stupid with the uh, CC. Like if it hits you, you'll get uh, stunned and floated. So I want to avoid 
one of them if possible. I like the one that's over here today, honestly. It's like, it's not out in the middle of nowhere. We're at 141, we'll see how many we're at after. We were at like 141, I think. So we got like 100 and let me check. Yeah, 110 from that. That's pretty good. Someone just whispered me. Hold up. someone bought my bags glove. Alright, uh, let's go... Yeah, good times. I sold that bags glove a long time ago, actually. I'm pretty sure out there, there are two, three, four. Yeah, probably, um, let's see. I sold my pen heave. I sold a pair of Ergons and bags back when I was uh, switching to evasion and then switched back because, uh, you know, I wanted to try it out. 
Um, and then... I sold two griffins. So I think there's five pens out there with my name on it. Which is not a lot compared to, like, people like Biohack, but... The fact that I even make pens is, like, a shocker in itself. With my RNG, the fact that I can even click pen. Oh yeah, we could do a little bit of enhancing. I decided on the Eye of the Ruins, I'm probably just gonna sell it, to be honest. I want the money. But yeah, we could do a little bit of enhancing before we head out today. Um, it's mostly gonna be two volley gear. Because reasons. I really hope for the like graduation they don't make you do stupid stuff to graduate and get your pen completion neck. Mm, okay, well. What did we want to enhance? We could try to get our awakening weapon to Tet, and then if we get all Tet, we'll work on something else. At the end of the season, near the end, I guess. We'll start doing a roulette for Pen and then see what goes. Honestly, with two Vala gear, usually I would never recommend people doing like Pen roulettes or anything. Trust me when I say I've done it before back in the day and then just going down like months of gear upgrades. It's not a good feeling. So, uh, trust me when I say I would not recommend doing roulettes ever. But with two Vala gear, that's a little bit different. No one really cares, so. <clears throat> Alright, what were we doing? Right. Oh, well, it's old. 420. All right, let's see. <sighs> All right, well.
something tells me uh, today is not a good day to be enhancing. do our best to see if we can get this to Tet, and then we'll go from there. Oh yeah, let me go uh, empty my or dump energy. Can we get Tet today? We shall see. I'm not sure how many um, duo stacks we have, to be honest. It's a little bit concerning. But at worst comes to worst, I can make like 20 stacks. It shouldn't be a big deal. The Our big bottleneck is probably going to be the Tuvala Stones. does this happen? <laughs> okay. Well, it really sucks how Tuvala isn't I wish Tuvala was just a universal, like, when you the repair box, you could just open it and just have choose which one you want to open it for on any class. I don't have to keep swapping over. Oh, I guess they want you to enhance on the character that you're using it for. I understand that. But, man, dude, it's like, just be like, here, here's a drop box. Do you want to open it for this class? Cool. But yeah, this is where I'm at right now in terms of progression. I never really care too much about the accessories because usually when I do season, I know it's going to get converted later. Also, look at all these fail stacks. I've built up 50, another 50, 60, 50, 70, 50, 60. Yeah, all of those have been built up from enhancing to Vala. And I don't know what to use it on. Maybe if I decide... They actually doubled the rate of... Um, what is it? Massive Peer Magics? In the past patch or so. So it's like... That's cool. I think. Yeah. 32 of them there. I think it's Odraxia. Yeah, another 50. So I've like... That's just another 80 massive pure magics. And in Velia, I've like 80 plus another 180. So I could literally make a Tet or two black stars if I wanted to. Do I? The answer is not really.
Oh, we forgot to skip. There's no way we use 60 for that, right? 60 for a tat seems pretty high. Forty seven for try also seems really high. Okay. Yeah, today does not seem like a good day to be enhancing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have a 16 stack in here. Pog. Also, for the record, I know there are people that cron... Tron Tuvala, but I just... There, that is no way a good idea. I guess I can sort of understand, like, if you're a new player and you're just trying to... get gear for the first time. Season is a very good thing for new players, but man, I just, I don't know. Even as a new player, I don't think I can recommend using Cronstones on Tuvala. It just feels weird. All those stacks seem bad. I feel like I shouldn't. This definitely feels pretty bad. Oh, I guess. Something tells me I shouldn't use 50s on a try. Even for real boss gear, that's like a kind of sketch thing. Plus we only have 20 um, time fields, so it's not like we can make too much even if we... We did hit it. So I'm just going to repair it and leave it where it is right now. Okay. 
Also, for the record, this season I have done absolutely zero grinding on season. Or very minimal, not zero, but like minimal. Alright, well, I guess that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, boys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.